Hey Filmmaker Shungni here. In this video I'm releasing the seamless bounce preset pack and it got the seamless zoom, the seamless switch pan, the seamless spin, the rolling and all you can add a RGB split. In this seamless bounce transition pack there are 35 presets so here we can see all of them and you can purchase this preset pack from my website there be a link in the description below once you have purchased it unzip it go to the effects tab go to the preset bin right mouse click on it choose import preset and choose this file and press open to import the presets. Once you have done that inside of the Shungda transition folder you will find the Shungda seamless bounce transition folder. To apply this preset it's pretty much all of them are the same. Hold down shift to go in between two of the clips or shift up or shift down to go to the start or the end of the clip and pretty much easiest way to go in between two clips. Now hold down shift and arrow left three times to go to 15 frames. You don't have to purposely do it on 15 frames. However, this effect is made on 15 frames. You can cut more for a slower effect and cut less for a faster effect. However, I wouldn't actually go faster than 15 frames. So now when we press command K, we cut this clip and now hold down shift arrow down to go in the middle again. And I hold down shift and press the right arrow three times. One, two, three. And command K to cut it also. Now right mouse click on each of the cut clip. Choose nesting. And then press OK. Nest. OK. This is done because certain, mainly the more recent Premiere Pros have issue with if you are using certain clips or unmatched clips to your timeline. If you are using like a 30 frames on a 24 frames or uh, using a 50 frames on a 25 frames uh, timeline. If you are slowing things down or changing anything, make sure to nest it or just automatically just nest the clips before you are going to apply a preset effect. Now I'm going to apply the one that I like the most is actually the rolling bounce. Now press in is for the second one. So in is begin of the this clip and out is the end of this clip. So we're going to out in this one. Now we can see the effect. So it's kind of like a spring action. So it looks like it's being pushed once way and then it suddenly flips and lands. So the bounce action is really awesome with this. So this is pretty much how each of them are uh, applied. Only difference is if you are going to also extra add the RGB split. To do that is after you have applied the presets like here, we're now going to select both of the clips, choose both of them and then press nest, nest these two together. Now going to hold down alt, drag it up twice. Now we're going to the RGB split folder. Going to drag the top on the top one, middle and bot is the bottom one. So now we have added an RGB split in this effect. So this is a quite heavy effect. Uh, if you are going to have a lot of these uh, effects in your on your timeline, I suggest to hit enter on your timeline and pre-render. So that was the seamless bounce transition pack. Hope you guys like this video and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos on this channel. If you have any questions, please comment below or actually join us on Facebook. There's a link in the description and I'll hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.